Hey everyone. In amongst all the poverty and despair and general horribleness endemic in today's torrid world, the Hollywood elite and their ivory terror were rocked to the core last weekend when a competition for best movie went briefly and mildly astray, and it was even suggested that Vladimir Putin, not content with supposedly rigging the US election, also had very firm views on cinema, in particular the hit musical La La Land. I guess the KGB must have a lot of time on their hands these days if that's the case. Um, the film itself isn't my cup of tea, but for a feared intelligence operation, hacking the Oscars is little more than a glorified form of posting anonymous comments on the Daily Mail's website. In talking of La La Land, Jeremy Corbyn's been dancing around the issue of whether last week's by-election results were assigned for him to go. The same is largely true in the UKIP camp too, following their loss in Stoke, as well as comments made about the Hillsborough disaster. Of course, Nigel Farage and Douglas Carswell are not content to sit back. have also been very keen to make sure that their disagreements are as visible and publicly embarrassing as possible. Still, there's the old expression about the tyranny of the status quo, and I imagine that no one's going to resign, at least until the next inevitable by-election happens, and by then it's too late anyway. Um, on the other hand, there's also that other old expression that a week is a long time in politics, so perhaps this is the penultimate time I'll be sketching Jeremy Corbyn, which would be a shame. Oh yeah, in America there's been some more news about Jeff Sessions and Russia and yada yada yada. It's not really news now, is it, folks, so much as an ongoing damage limitation exercise. Anyway, see you next week. And if you like these, why not click subscribe?